Hey, Nate Saunders here with Lando Norris. Lando, we're in Austin. You're the driver in form, or at least one of the drivers in form, coming here. Thanks. Just talk to us a bit about this resurgence this year, because when we started out in Bahrain, it was doom and gloom around McLaren. The media yeah. were writing the season off. Yeah. And you've doubled your, I think you've almost doubled your career podiums this season yes. over the stretch of races. So how's that been? It's a crazy turnaround. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been amazing, I would say. So um, there's no easy answer to it. You know, yeah. it's not just this or that, but the team, I've just put a lot of time and effort into trying to really understand the philosophy, the, the, the direction that we need to try and improve the car in. Um, I think it was made worse, let's say, by learning about the kind of direction we want to go in uh, not long before the season started. Yeah. And therefore, we didn't want to try and bring, uh, bring any wrong things to the car at the beginning. So the car was just very underdeveloped and not much of a change from when we ended last year. But we knew that with time, things would improve. So uh, it's just kind of getting on the right track. And once we've got that and once we've kind of got confident with it, it's just exploiting those things and, and exploiting yeah. what we know. So um, I don't even know all the ins and outs of it. You know, a lot of it is down to just the, the team, the hard work, the understanding of the car. And uh, it's proven, you know, this year there's been one of the biggest turnarounds in, in Formula One history. So uh, I'm very proud of them. And I think we spoke in Monaco and you were talking about what was, I guess, two weeks away from the turnaround of the season. Yeah. How difficult was it to, to, to stay positive in that difficult spell? Because you were, it, you yeah. know, you had Aston were doing well and yes, it, the gap was huge well. as well. So it must, I, I know you were hearing good things from the team, but yeah. until you see it on track, it must be difficult to actually believe it. Yeah, it's it. always tough. I mean, especially because our history especially over the last couple of years with bringing a big development and it performing as it should was not the best yeah um you know last year we had that a, a number of times which is never a good thing so i was always a little bit reserved i was always a little bit hesitant on going yeah we're definitely going to be good and i would say i'm never really like that you know i'm always a bit reserved in general with yeah. with my outlook but um it was tough i wouldn't say i was always positive yeah. you know I, I definitely wasn't there was a lot of times when you know, I, I do the lap of my life and we're like 16th in qualifying. <laughs> Which must I'm be like, so depressing. Like. It is, just because you don't feel rewarded, you know. Um, I know that's, that's just how it is, and it's the same yeah. in every category you do. Uh, it's just, it just feels tougher when you get to Formula 1 and you're like, you know, you put in such a good lap and you're out in Q1, you're like, well, it's me done. Mm. You don't get that Q2 opportunity, then that Q3 opportunity, you know. And yeah. it just feels a lot better now that we're able to fight for that uh, and have the knowledge and confidence that we can, we can do it most weekends now. But... Uh, it was tough for, for everyone though, not just for us as drivers, um, but for the engineers, for the mechanics. It's the same thing, you know, they, they feed off the same thing that we do, is that competition, the success. So when they work as hard as they can and they work hours and hours on building the car, putting it together, setting it up in the right way, um, and we go out and we're out in Q1, they're also like, you know, what could we have done better? Why, why are we here kind of thing? So it was tough for everyone, tough for, for the whole team, tough for everyone back in the factory. And I think that's why it makes it so much sweeter now that we've been able to fight back is that um, we were in a, a dark, tough period and now we're almost in a complete contrast and that's, a, that's an amazing thing. And I mean, it was amazing in Qatar because you were talking about, like, guys, we could have won today, which is, a, yeah. you know, is, is disappointing, but it's almost a good problem to have, you know, when you're saying know. if we'd got know, things right, maybe we could have won. Yeah. I mean, for you just as a driver in terms of motivation, that must be, it must be night and day's difference when you can turn up to a weekend and you know here you've got a car yep. that you can challenge for the podium, not just like you were saying, yeah, that yeah, Q1 exactly. opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's huge. You know, it gives you a completely different outlook. It, it gives the whole team a different outlook. Um, there's definitely more pressure that comes with it because you're fighting probably yeah. better, you know, slightly better drivers, drivers with more, more, more experience like Max, like Fernando, like Lewis. Um, but yeah, just having that knowledge in the back of your head that you're coming in and just, just knowing I could get pole this weekend or you know, if things go right, Max gets unlucky. He could have a win this weekend. Yeah. So it's it's a much better feeling. It definitely fills you with confidence, which is a good thing to have just throughout your your career and throughout racing. Um, but yeah, it's just good for the team. You know, I think for for when you when you think of we're up against you know Mercedes, Ferrari, teams who have been a ahead of us the last what ten years. Yeah, time. Yeah, ten years, right? And in one season, we've been able to go from being a long way behind them. To, to beating them yeah. and that's something they've not been able to do over the last few years and uh, we've been able to do it just over this year so a surprise a pleasant surprise but just uh, just hard work is the answer for it all yeah obviously Red Bull's not a target that's stationary they're moving yes. forward as well but next year do you feel that there's a chance there to really make some ground and maybe maybe yeah. I mean do you think you can 
have as much of an improvement to challenge for a championship or is it still a, a gap where you're like it's, it's still pretty, I mean, pretty the, big because it's still are, Max is still quite a way ahead right the smaller the gaps the smaller the jumps you're going to find but yeah. 100% for us to, to kind of understand and exploring everything we want in one season is impossible yeah uh, we already know we have some better things coming for next year we have some some, uh, some just improvements and some knowledge and of course we have the wind tunnel the new simulator we have great personnel joining the team so I think we're confident we still have a lot to come, which is an even better feeling. Yeah. Uh, because like you said, when we're complaining that we didn't get the pole or we didn't get the win or we didn't get the podium, like that's still a, a good feeling uh, yeah. to have. It's just you're always greedy in racing. You're always wanting more. But we, we know we've taken some big steps forward, um, but we're definitely not, not done there. And we're, we're confident we can further improve not just throughout not i would say not so so much through this year but definitely into next year and start the season off finally in a in a good way you're playing the netflix cup in a few weeks i am uh first i didn't even know it was a live event yeah it, it seems it, this I seems like a bigger event than the vegas grand prix golf in vegas i said sure yeah it's turned out to be the the netflix event so yeah. i was a bit surprised and you're playing at the win which has that weird sphere thing I looking know, at I've you seen. have you seen that that's freaky as I hell know, I've seen, i mean i've seen some of the celebrity matches yeah. that, uh, and it's like looking it's watching like that. I, I see so i don't know if we, can we see it while we're driving i are think we, i think apparently you can at one point okay. so cool. i don't know if it'll be just like watching you go by I mean, but Vegas that would be is weird it's just going to be incredible but um i mean golf is also lovely so yeah, 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 yeah. We, we'll be playing what's the netflix matchups we'll be playing with um max ricky jt and uh morikawa morikawa yeah uh which is going to be cool i feel like there has to be a two-part series there, right? Like, at what point? Yeah. What, like, we're going into what they do best at. Yeah, they've got to come so and do some we're racing. we're not going to look good so either way. When do they come to the driving, and then, you know, when can we make them look bad? <laughs> How would that work? They do a free practice, basically, or something. Or just race, uh, hey, no, just put them on the grid. Yeah, it's just put them out in an F1 car and just tell them, you know, just do it. But there's the 11th team. Everyone's talking about Andretti. There you go. There we go. Golfers. Nice one. Cheers, that's, that's where it is. Lando, thanks very much.